So hey friends, I'm just going to do a little update here right before the sun goes down. So on my whole experiment of urban boondocking, I decided the best way for me to handle this is to find the perfect place, a business, and ask permission. So that's what I did today. Hey friends, I am still on my mission to do this urban boondocking thing. So, yeah, tonight I decided to try something different. I went to lunch today at a restaurant, and they're only open for breakfast and lunch, so I got to thinking, hey, maybe I could park here. So I asked the folks that own the place, I said, do you own the land or do you rent it? And they said, no, we own the building, we own it. I said, awesome, well, what are your policies on overnight parking? And they said, what do you mean overnight parking? I said, well, would you have a problem if somebody parked a van on your property overnight? They said, no, not at all. In fact, we, the neighbors next door, it's a like a plumbing service or something, they have a fleet of white vans, and a lot of times their folks will park on our property. Or their employees will just park over on our back lot, and then they'll get in the work van and go do their job. And I said, oh, okay, cool. So would you have a problem with a van parking here tonight? And they said, no, not at all. Feel free. So I am doing that. So I think I'll feel comfortable enough having permission like that, I don't think that I could sleep someplace if I didn't know it was okay. So, I think that's been my hang up with all this. So, I'm giving it a whirl. Okay, so I get here, it's almost dark, and there's a couple of cars parked over there. One of them's got its headlights on, and one doesn't. I think both the people are in the car with headlights on, so... I don't know what's going on with that, but I feel really weird, you know, pulling up next to them, going, hey, I'm here. So I guess I'll wait till they're done doing whatever they're doing, and then go make myself at home. Anyway, I hope this is a wise idea. They said that nobody's cars ever get messed with, so that made me feel pretty good. And I am kind of familiar with the neighborhood, so again, that makes me feel a little better knowing kind of where I am. I don't think I could do this in a strange city. That would be very weird. Anyway. Wish me luck, guys. I'll let you know how it turns out. It's supposed to be in the upper 20s tonight, but I know I'll sleep warm here in Debake. It's a nice van. I, I do love it. It does hold a little bit of warmth when it needs to. So anyway, I hope whatever you guys are doing tonight, it's exciting too. <laughs> Stay lost, my friends.